need you guys to thumbs up if uh, we got a quick connection here. All right. Thumbs up if it's clear, if it's coming in clear, if it's changing clear. I 
as I look back into my journey in my life, and then I look at other people's journey in their lives, and I've been studying people for a long time. I've been studying the mind and how the mind works. And what I've noticed is that the universe lets us form these circumstances just to put us through a whole bunch of pain if you look at your relationships the most painful relationship you ever had and you look at how it started and you're like yo the universe allowed me to go through all of this shit just for it to end up like this so fucked up shit you think about it you know it's all a program um to me, that's the most amazing thing about life. You think you're living, you think you're in heaven, but you're living in hell. You know, things are all good right now. Everything is going fine and dandy right now. But you're just being set up to be taken down. And you're only being taken down to be lifted up. And that's the fucking crazy part about life. starts off good right it's all good right and that's what that's how the universe fucks us bro it makes us think that everything's gonna be all right look at me i'm happy i got the love of my life look at me i got it together it, it, it gets you all convinced and it all at all and, 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 and it's just a hell forming it's a suffering forming around this this false sense of security and you gotta be aware of this shit in life man it is the most fucked up thing I've noticed about being here This is why you got to know your natal chart. I'm doing a natal chart reading today. I'm going to give somebody today one lucky motherfucker. Uh, I'm going to show you how powerful astrology is today. I'm going to give somebody an all-out fucking reading today. I'm going to give them an authentic, full birth chart report. I'm talking about like an hour-long report. One fucking lucky person is going to see how powerful I am and how smart I am. I'm going to take one person. I don't know who it is, but the universe will pick it. One person today, I'm going to do a full-out chart and blow their fucking mind. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show them how accurate astrology is. And how good I am at doing astrology. And how accurate it is. I'm going to do a full out, like straight up birth chart. Like I could do it so fucking quick. Like, it, like I'm really good at astrology, man. I've been doing this since 2008 and I'm really a good astrologer, bro. To the point where I will have you fucking crying. I'm, I'm not even trying to sound cocky. I'm, I'm, I'm dead ass serious. I could tell you everything about you, everything. I just don't do it because I want people to learn how to do it for themselves. But today, today, I'm going to break somebody's fucking whole life down. One person, about an hour reading, and I'm going to fucking break their whole fucking reality down to show you how, how God works. Like, that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to break somebody's whole fucking reality down just to sh just to show you how powerful i am 
just to flex on y'all niggas. I haven't flexed on y'all in a minute. My stuff has been flexing on y'all. But I'm, I'm about to do some shit today. Today, I'm going to flex on y'all. I want a non-believer. I want somebody that doesn't really fuck with astrology, that doesn't really believe in it. I want that person. So I can show them how fucking accurate that shit is. Nah, and you're going to have to, after I do this reading, y'all going to see how thorough I put the reading together. I'm going to do it like a like an hour-long reading, right? And I'm going to show you how we give it up. I'm going to do like an hour-long reading on one person. An hour-long, just straight flex. I'm going to pull up all kind of shit on this person. Like, I'm going to pull a card out. I'm going to expose every day, deepest, darkest shit that they didn't even know about themselves. They knew it, but they didn't know how to, why it was happening. They didn't know why they were like that. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull it all out, just to show you how fucking accurate that shit is. Cause I haven't did any like readings, real, like, like really, like, you know what I'm saying? But what's gonna motivate me is a motherfucker that really don't believe in astrology. Peace to the gods and goddess. Show us our demons. That's a fact. I'm out there. Matter of fact, I might just start right now. I'm in a mood. I'm in a mood to just break a motherfucker's whole fucking soul down. Your whole program to show you your whole shit. Like, look, here, this is your fucking program. Right? A thorough ass breakdown of an astrology report. Quick, fast. Should do it. And how I'm going to do it is, I'm going to be like, I'm, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to say, I'm going to pick pick a number f- from one between one and. Pick a number between 1 and 200. And whoever get the right number in the room, that's the motherfucker I'm going to do. Matter of fact. Matter of fact. Now, those are clouds forming off the mountains. Pick a number 1 through, if you say the number that I'm thinking... I said one to two hundred. Not you put two two two. No. No. I haven't seen a number yet. One to two hundred, man. Why are my fucking disciples in here putting numbers in? The fuck? Still haven't seen the number. Oh, I would like to read Imani's anyway. That was pretty close, Imani, but I want to read yours anyway. I want to read yours. I'm going to read Imani's. Fuck that number. Read yours. I'm going to read. That's who I'm going to read. 
Imani, you are the motherfucker I'ma read. Oh yeah. I still want y'all to guess the number, so whoever guesses the actual number, but Imani, I'm gonna do yours first because I just wanna do it. So remind you of my power. Remind you who the fuck I am. Just to remind you. No one's picked the number yet though. No one's picked the number. Whoever picks the number will be the other person. Will be the other person I do the full reading on. Because I'm doing a couple. I'm gonna do two today. Since I since I decided to go back on the number thing. I still haven't seen the number, yo. No, no, no. So nobody's put the number in. One person came really close to the number. But I still haven't seen the number yet. Still haven't seen the number. That's amazing. Still haven't seen the number. One through two hundred. Still, nobody picked the number yet. Two hundred eighteen. I should block you for saying that. We're about to get it in. Let me get the iPad. What's on? Still haven't seen the number. Damn, y'all suck. No. That's not the number. Y'all turn it down. Turn it off. iPad. Yo, they still ain't guessed the number yet. What's wrong with these people? Yo, can you turn it down, yo? the number yet. This is crazy. Yeah, let me get that, please. Man, this is crazy. They still ain't guessed the number. This ain't this crazy. It's only 200 numbers. They still ain't picked the number yet, yo. Still ain't picked the number yet. This is crazy. Hey, get out the room, True. If any of my disciples get the number, I'm going to fuck y'all up. <laughs> no. No. Still ain't get the number yet. While y'all trying to get that number up, I'm going to be pulling, uh, pulling the first thing up right now. You did say something. Why are you... Why, caliber, knock out 25. Knock out 25, Caliber. No, he didn't get it right. But I told him not to guess. They still ain't get the number yet. That's sad. Wow. Wow. No. This is crazy. They still ain't get the number yet. No. Wow, this is amazing. This is really amazing. Nobody has guessed the number yet. This is crazy. Only 200 numbers. Nope. 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 This is amazing. That's how, that's how good I can hide from y'all. Still nobody got the number. Damn. Damn. They still ain't guessed the number, bruh. Yeah. Still, they ain't guessed the number. This is amazing. <laughs> wow, this is how far away I am from people's minds, bruh. Like, they have any, they can't even pick a number. Like, what? This is how far we are. In distance, bro. Wow, unbelievable. Unbelievable. Got to be kidding me, bro. You 
I'm scrolling right now to fucking see who said it first. I got you, Imani. You you first on the joint. And then it's going, I think it's going to be, hold on. I'm trying to see who said it first. Because I, I didn't, maybe didn't pull up in my chat because I didn't see it. That's funny that I don't see it still. the first person on my chat this that's funny on my chat all i see is ivory but i'm gonna do one for ivory ivory call in and get in the lineup call in lydia call in call in lydia and ivory and then i don't see the other person that that said 199 because i'm scrolling down i don't see that shit but if y'all said that they said it first about you all right fine so how do you call scroll back up to the top and hit the request button i'm out to fuck somebody head up real quick you right under pluto what you mean i'm gonna fucking play around with this shit all righty marty Ready to get some respect. You ready? Yep, I'm ready. What's your what's your beat at? Four eight eighty seven. April eighth. April eighth. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, come on. April 8th, 1987, right? It's an Aries. Yes. <laughs> Come on, man. I'm talking to you, man. Yes, I'm asking. All right. What, what time you was born? I was born at 10.30 p.m. I got a food. Yes, Milltown. Look at that. You got a balloon. Okay, so... What city? You said Milwaukee? You know I'm from Milwaukee. Is it good? Okay, I can help you. Okay. Woo. We're at Milwaukee. I mean, we're Milwaukee, Milwaukee. Wisconsin. You said what? Right? That's some crazy shit. I never even... That's right, you are from that crazy place where all the white people is at. It's not a lot of white people in here. And thank you. It's not a lot of white people there? It's a lot. Well, on the north side, it's a lot of black people. We're super segregated. So, north side is black people, south side is Hispanic, and then the suburbs is white people. Oh, no, 40 seconds ago. I'm in the hood on 10th and Keith. Okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Let me find out. You got a lot of people following you from Milwaukee. It's very sunny in the water. It's sun in the water. Okay, so let me get this right. April eighth, nineteen eighty seven. Yes. Ten thirty p.m. Milwaukee was hot. Okay. Sun in Aries, Leo and Leo Moon. It's my it is very okay. Okay, so that's what we do. So we got to All right. Um, so here's what we're going to do. Because I see that you can't pay attention. Okay. I'm trying to get you to read. Okay, I'm paying attention. I got two, two babies right here, but I'm listening. You sure that you got time for this? Or you, I need I to have your attention. This is, this is, this, I'm doing this. I'm listening. Okay, so your ascendant. Your ascendant is in Scorpio, like mine. Knew that, right? Uh-huh. Hold on 
real quick. Did you know? Did you know that your that your your moon was square and your ascendant? No. My Do you know what that means? No, I know that's an aspect, though, right? It's so a very it's major a, aspect in your life. A debilitation, right? It is a demon. <clears throat> Tell me more. You want to know more? Okay. Yeah. Okay, so listen, I'm going to read something to you. It says, when your moon is square ascendant, your emotional nature is not aligned well with your expression of personality. So basically, it is not easy for you to express yourself the way you want. And you may be extra sensitive to those around you and react strongly around negativity. A lot of the problems with this aspect come with your own understanding of yourself and learning how to deal with other people's responses. So there's a conflict with what you what you understand with yourself and with uh, what other people think about you and what they say about you and your response to that. We've seen that already because I had to turn the chaps off because you were focused on what people would, you know what I'm saying, were saying. Um, it says, this is a learning experience where it may take some time for you to truly be open with others and not let what other people do or say affect your inner emotional security and well-being. That's true. You're, you're very sensitive to what people have to say about you. Very, very true. Yeah. And to the point of detriment. This is a, this is a demon in your life. Hold on, hold on one second. Imani, Desire, go ahead in your room and take your radio with you so I can hear. Okay. Yeah, that'll be good. It says like this, it says, and, and we know this to be true as well. Look at this. You may have strong ties to your parents or family, which can make you feel more dependent on others to feel secure. So this is coming from a childhood. Um, yeah, that's true. So this, this insecurity, this insecurity is a generational curse. This is actually a generational curse. So basically, um, you had strong ties with your family growing up, and how they felt about you really affected your life. And so, because because the first seven years of your life, what happened was this is being this is being reflected throughout your delta. This demon where it's no longer your parents it's the community it's the people now and so this is something that you have to overcome you gotta you have to learn how to stop giving a fuck about what people think about you this is a reflection this is a reflection from your childhood and it's stemming from either your mother or your father or the family members you had you very close to them i don't know who it is exactly who is it that has a that has some type of um, effect on me. I mean, yeah, it is your, your family. Which part I of your mean, family? <laughs> your mother, your I father, or just... like I've had like some type of um, job that I had to do for my family. I'm the oldest, you know, grandchild. Well, oldest granddaughter. I'm the oldest daughter on my mom's side, so I've always felt like there was um, a job that I had to like bring them up. So in ways that they didn't like have it or whatever, I couldn't really avoid having it because they didn't have it, you know. So that, I still feel that way to this day. Okay, and this is also what it says. This can become extreme to the point where you can you will attract people. It says this will become so extreme that you will attract people who can can make you entirely dependent on them. No, I don't think so. I don't yes. think so. I've been single for too long to be dependent on anybody. I want to be dependent. Hell, I want to be dependent. That's what I want to be. But you still are. You, 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 you still are. You haven't left the nest yet. But yes. I'm going to show you something. I'm going to show you something. Um, this is what I'm going to show you. The men that you have attracted have tried to basically make you dependent on them. Mm -hmm. 
if you think about it, you know, you remember that guy that was, you remember that guy. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> he wasn't able to because you really never left the nest. And when he met you, you were dependent, you were completely dependent on someone. But we won't talk about that circumstance. You know what I'm talking about. Um, I couldn't be remember, dependent on him because he wasn't doing shit, if that makes sense. I mean, like, the, I mean, I mean the place you were staying at. You, know, you remember that? You can, you can, you can talk. You can speak. Open. No, it's not anyone's business. Listen, um, this, listen, work. It says work on your self worth and inner security and break free from the past feelings of sentimentality. So reevaluate your values and do what you want to do, not what others want you to do. So here's your challenge in life. Whenever you get caught up in making decisions, stop basing them in what other people is going to say. Yeah. I do that. I do that. All the decisions that you have made in your life have been based on what you think other people are saying about you. If you look at your life, you know, this is a major theme in your life, right? Yeah. So your one of your demons, one of your generational curses, is that, and if you look at your mom and you look at your dad, you look at your your mom and your dad, you will see that they do this also. Somebody you inherited from your mother and father. Either your mother or your father have done this before. They, they do this. They care a lot about what people think. I don't know who it is, but it's either your mother or your father. My mother. Huh? My mom. It's your mom, right? Yeah. Yeah, because you inherit this from your mother. This is a generational curse. I got that. We got it. We got a long... This is going to be a while. So you might as well get you some tea, some water. Oh, God. I got a lot. I'm about to run your whole shit. Just letting you know. I'm running your whole shit. I'm doing this for like two weeks a day. Just to, just to show you how powerful and accurate this can be. All right? That's so far, so good. Um, I definitely care a lot about what my mom say. Even as a grown person, I'm like... Now, not like regular people, but like, huh? I said not like regular people that I don't know, miscellaneous people. But when it comes to my mom, yeah, she plays a heavy role in decisions that I make. Okay, so when your moon is square and ascendant, this is how you this is how you look at yourself compared to um. This is squaring with your mother. This is coming from your mother. Your mother. You feel what I'm saying? So. This also comes to how you feel about yourself, how you feel, your feelings and emotions about how you come off to other people. Basically, when you have this spirit, you have a challenge when it comes to that, which we already figured out, right? But we're gonna read, we're gonna read something else that actually uh, adds to that. The way you express yourself to others, or your body language and manner, tends to conflict with how you truly feel. So your body language. And the way you come off is not aligned with how you truly feel. And so, so people can read you wrong. You always getting read wrong. People don't really know what you're thinking because your body language is not. People are reading you wrong. You are you always feeling misunderstood by people. Yeah, that's true. And I'm just saying, yeah, just because you're saying it, either. <laughs> yeah, this is this is it. It says you are highly emotional, and your feelings demand attention immediately. So you could be a crybaby. You could be someone that that needs a lot of attention. Yeah, I'm a crybaby. Um. So uncertainty about how you how how others will respond to you if you express yourself with your true feelings is the root of this. Basically, you are afraid of telling people what you really feel. Sometimes you're basically you're ruled by what people say about you. Feel what I'm saying, and this aspect goes to show that this is a major. This is how this will rule your life. This is why I'm reading this first. I'm reading this first because this is a major aspect of your life. This is ruling your whole shit. And if you sit down and really think about it, this moon square ascendant aspect has ruled your whole life. Basically, caring about what other people feel about you. Only to find out most of the time that don't nobody really care. 
that's the fucked up part of life, right? Is that the people that you're doing it for, you realize that they don't fucking care. That's true. I actually just came to that realization this year. I'm like, damn, I done lived in all of these different states, and I'm, I don't even want to really around my family now that I am in Milwaukee. Like, I'm about to go, you know? So, yeah. Right. Now that you are dependent on your family and what they think, and, 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 and you know, you know how your family thinks about you and what they expect of you, then you realize that don't nobody care. Don't nobody right. care. And that's the same thing with people. The same thing with people in life. Nobody gives a fuck. Right. Nobody really cares. People will try to control you and influence you, but then at the end of the day, they live in their own lives. And this is what you have to realize every time. Nobody really cares. People will give you advice. They'll tell to you, like, yo, you should do this, you should do that. Oh, we expected this from you. And as soon as you do what they want you to do, they won't give you the attention that you're that you're looking for, and because you're you're doing this for emotional security, but you're not getting the emotional security because it's a square. This is a generational curse. So it's a trick. This is a trap. Your mind does this. You have to realize your mind is doing this, and stop playing into that paradigm. That paradigm is locking you into that. Okay, and then your moon is in Leo. Let me, let me see here quick what house the moon is at. It's in the fifth house. Your, your, your ninth house. Yes. Ninth. You got ninth house? Yeah, my moon is in the ninth house. You forgot. <laughs> you forgot. <laughs> you forgot we both got the Leo ninth house, the Venus fourth house. Scorpio. Right? What? Daddy, go home. Okay. He gone home. Let me finish talking, okay? I'll be in there in just one moment. Okay? Wow. I'm scared. 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 i I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hold on. Let me just. Cantaloupe. Okay. Wow. All right. Let me. Can I talk on the phone now? I'll bring it to you in a moment. Okay. I'm listening. I'm just trying to listen. Hear you over there. Come on. Wow. Okay, I need you to sit still because 
I know you keep walking away from your daughter playing around. Okay, I got. Okay, I'm listening. Up. I'm so great for you doing that. That's not really good. Keep going. Hey, can you hear me? Yeah, I can. You might be okay. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get pot. I'm because my mind is sparking the fuck off right now. Like this is crazy. But anyway, <clears throat> moving forward. Your moon is at Leo. <clears throat> which means moon needs to be moon demands attention here so you're doing this to get you're, you're doing what your family wants you to do or you're doing what you think people want you to do to receive a certain amount of attention that you're not getting you understand what i'm saying and that makes you feel fucking alone that makes you feel deprived and it's because of you that you're not getting what you're supposed to get because of the fact that you keep fucking caring. You keep falling into this trap of what people gonna think about you and basing and governing your life by this aspect <clears throat> and expecting that if, okay, I do what the people want me to do. If I do what my family wants to do, <clears throat> they're gonna give me what that Leo moon needs. And it never pans out that way. And so you trap yourself in this paradox where you're sitting like people want you to sit, but you're not feeding your own energy. You're not, you, you're malnutritious. Wait, I can't hear you. I can't hear you for some reason. Um, I've been trying yeah, to find, you know, trying to find like yeah, a balance between those. Cause like I said, I feel like I have a duty to my family. You know, and I know some people- No, you don't. You actually have to do the opposite in this life. Wow. Yeah, you have, no, you have to really, see that and see the need for you to want to do that and do the opposite on purpose for you to actually get that leo moon that that nourishment you need you're going to have to do the opposite and you cannot yeah you're going to just have to you're just going to have to do things opposite of that but we're going to go into other things in your chart so i'm gonna move forward to the next okay. what's name but that's really important because this is a major that's theme in your in your life and you know that now yeah. we we know that now right mm -hmm. yeah we know that so we know that now we know that right yeah can you so hear now me we're gonna make a mental note yeah i can hear you okay we're gonna make a mental note now right that that imani loves to do things based on what other people might think of her the way she the way she dresses the way she fucking yeah today when you go online for now on don't put a fucking rap on on purpose like look fucking extra fuck it you know what i mean this is how you practice practice with blue shit like um you, you, whatever you do in life you know, this is something that's been in you since a child. You've been doing it since a child, so it's going to be hard to break. Are you listening? I can't hear you. But get you on this. Your mic is messing about. I think it's going to be hard to. You said it's, it's going to be, be hard. hard to break. Yeah. Yes, this is going to be hard to break because this is something that's been a pattern throughout your childhood and into. Very well. I don't know why I think I'm like supposed to be the problem solver for everybody and shit. I be having my own problems that need to be solved. So that's something definitely that I got find in balance within that. Trying to help out. Your moon is in Leo in the ninth house. <laughs> Your energy too. Is it feet? I'm out there careless chart. I'm out to break her whole fuck. When I'm done with her, she gonna be crying, nigga. When I'm done with her, she's gonna be like, oh, you're right. Oh. I'm just I just got into the sun sign. We haven't even gotten to Jupiter, Saturn, I haven't even got the Mercury. We was I haven't even finished her ascending. We just did one aspect. One. We on the second aspect. When I'm done with her, she's gonna be like, either she's gonna be in love with me. Or she gonna be like, how the fuck? She gonna be like, damn. You gonna cry? I'm gonna let her. I hope she's screen recorded. <laughs> you sound like a whore. You gonna cry? I'm gonna make you cry. 
we want that. Funny, I'm always talking junk. <laughs> always talking junk. Hey, look, but fuck what people think. Fuck what people think. Never, never forget that. That's the theme of your life. Fuck what people think. I'm not. Fuck it. I'm gonna cry. He might make me cry. But I mean, I almost cried earlier. You didn't notice it, but uh, I ain't gonna tell you what's oh, here. Okay. When you can't see him, you can't see him. <laughs> but no, you on point so no. far, so. Yeah. Okay. Look. So you have this powerful energy where you can burn out. You can, you can, you can have a nervous breakdown. You can fuck around yeah. and have a nervous breakdown for real. Like, you get jitters. Like, yeah. you get, like... Yeah. You can get I had jitters a panic or have too much. I was like, what is happening right now? But I had a whole panic attack, and it was... You know, it lasted for, like, two minutes. You know, but it happened. Yeah. Depending on the transits, too. So if the transit is in, like, a fire transit, if the sun and moon is in fire... You gotta be careful. You need to go to the spa that day. You need to go chill out. You need to do. You need to be. You need to be aware of what the transits are with this kind of energy because whatever, wherever the moon is at, it really affects you because you got all of this energy. And when the energy is traveling throughout your body, you can start shaking. You can start getting okay, um, I'm gonna skip through some of this. Um, astrological reading and this woman her name is um, Imani and or aka Sunny she is um, the woman that was right before Eliana and he broke her heart I mean she broke his heart and um, she ended up dating um, this guy she ended up dating this um this guy who wanted to give nature boy uh you know some money he had came to mexico and um he said can i come through and um give you this money i'd rather give you this money instead of you know renting a hotel so nature boy said okay you know come on through so while he was there, him, I mean, Amani and this guy, I think his name was Phoenix, that's what, or Pharaoh or Phoenix, they ended up getting together and she fell out of love with Nature Boy. And she fell in love with um, Pharaoh. So Pharaoh, he was like, you know, look, I can't you know I don't I can't get with your girl or whatever and I don't know what happened but in between that but eventually Imani and Pharaoh ended up getting together now Pharaoh he went into the jungle and Imani followed he went to some jungle I don't know where in South America she followed and they ended up having a child so I don't think they're together now um, so when all this happened when Amani left him for Pharaoh you know he went into a deep depression and that's how he said he ended up settling for um, Eliana or you know he said settling you know because he was in a dark space so I'm going to skip through some of this reading because it's really long and um, sorry forgive me for those who are really into this but I'm going to skip through it because there's a lot of other stuff that happened during the day during today and um yeah okay that's all i wanted to say and give you an explanation who she who she is and why he's taking so much interest in this i do i do not in your farm but just over there you know what i mean like in your mind you always think that if i make it over there i'll be i'll be i'll be better i'll be happier over there this is what over there or over here 
like in a foreign land in or your mind you said i in your mind you always think that there's a conflict between being there and somewhere else yeah okay definitely yeah, yeah. like because your ninth house because your ninth house moon it always makes you desire being over there right and, and and in your mind you say if i'm over there i'll be happier now I'll, I'll be happier if i'm over there and so which it may it may be true i think that it's true because of the because of the ascendant aspect you have what we talked about being influenced i think that that's where your growth is your growth is in foreign lands your growth is away and i think you know that somewhere some way or form or another you know that Innately, you know that it's I need to. Just want to pick up and leave, and um, you know, I've always felt like that. I mean, that's been I've been feeling that since I started gardening, and um, since I started, you know, one to live a, a self-sustainable life. Um, I think being moving and making moves on my own before I had your money. Um, it was easier for me to do that. You know, I didn't have to worry about, you know, if I need to call somebody for a flat tire or if I, you know what I mean? I didn't have to worry about that. Cause, well, because it was just me and I just figured it out, you know. But now that I got the money, it's like, I got to be more careful, you know, about moves that I make and stuff like that. Because at the end of the day, I got to, you know, be concerned with my daughter. So being in Milwaukee where I do have family and she and her father's family is like 30 minutes away or whatever she at least has them you know what i mean instead of it just being because it does take a village you know to raise a child so that's why i'm you here think that's I a village? you think that's a village um yeah for now you know i think there's levels to villages i think um sometimes you have to take what you can get and you know at least i know i can trust them you know with my daughter and i know they got they got their her best so now that's the village Okay, so here, uh, here I see some really good stuff in your chart. Right. Oh, I wanted to stop too because I'm reading the chat, and she went on uh, Young Phoenix, Young Pharaoh. Young, I'm reading the chat, and they're saying that she went on Young Pharaoh's. Um, she did an interview with Young Pharaoh. And she, they're saying that she did an interview and that he, that Nature Boy had gave her an, an incurable STD. So she's the one. So I'm going to go look up to see if I can find that video of, um, of Sunny, a young pharaoh. So that's why she's going back and forth with the, with the chat and everything. Okay, back to this, and I am gonna skip through some of this. I'm am finding some some things that's gonna help you in the other aspects that you have, right? So we see the negative. We've seen that negative thing that you have, but this major aspect in your son is really gonna help you overcome a lot of your challenges. It's your sun trying moon. You have a sun trying moon now. With that, you said that. Uh, um, sun, oh. Mommy, you keep yelling. And I keep asking what um, is You said the sun shines Saturn, and that means seriously, because I don't like popping my baby. Like, I just don't. She don't take right. me seriously. Don't say I'm not a Other people will think of you, and you humble yourself because you think that people want a humble person. And yeah. you're doing it right now. Yeah. Stop. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. You watch me. When you watch me, you vicariously live to me because it's like, that's how I'm supposed to be. He don't give a fuck. He doesn't give a fuck about being humble. He tells it like it is. He comes into his glory and his power. And he presses that power to him. Come on. I don't want to be talking for no reason. Come on. That, um, it, and it's not even that I think people want a humble person. It's that I want to be humble. No. I don't want to be See, that's the thing about it. That's just the thing about it. You have Aries. Right, fifth house, Leo, ninth house. There's nothing humble about the power. If you think, listen, that's like you saying, that's like you going out into the sun in the middle of the desert, like, oh, I wish this 
this son would be more humble on me. No, nigga, you better get some shade. Because, <laughs> uh, nigga, I'm burning your ass if you come out of here. See, you have to shine your light and stop trying to make... Stop, stop, like... Stop putting... Stop being in the clips and just be what you are and shine because somebody has to be that arrogant motherfucker. Somebody has to be that authoritative figure. And if you don't do it and you're being like everybody else, then there won't be you. Yeah. You have to understand it, and this is why astrology is so important. Because once you understand this power, then you stop making excuses for it. Then you could just become that shit and stop fucking making excuses for it. I don't make it. I know who I am. I know. I know. Be That's I I know the whole point of that about you. Yes. I can't be humble. Everybody so, ain't meant to be humble, dog. They not meant to be but, humble. When you got to get like an Aries fifth house with a Leo moon ninth house. Oh no! And it's it's about to talk about it right now. But let me say something before you read that part. Go ahead, go ahead, watch. But you're a man, so people are willing to accept that it energy in a man. It doesn't matter when it comes to astrology. It doesn't matter. Right? You still can assert yourself without, if you have a man without you. You can assert your power without you offending or hurting him. Especially if he's somebody that's in his own power. You feel what I'm saying? Like, it's a way that you, you know what I'm saying? I, now, and I don't mean, I don't mean like in the interaction between like you and I. I don't mean like me being like, you know what I mean, communicating with you. But I mean just in the world, like how the world sees women and how the world. I'm not talking about the world. Yo, fuck the world. What I'm talking about, I thought you were talking about in a relationship with a man because you said a man, right? This meant just the energy of, you know, the difference between it being... Oh, no, don't worry about that because all these women out here, what do you think Beyonce does? Beyonce uses that power in a feminine way. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you look at these women like Beyonce, Cardi B, all these celebrities that we uplift and, ce and celebrate, they all use that dynamic energy, that dynamic masculine energy in a feminine form. It's all dynamic masculine energy. But they use it and you love it. They know how to... Uh, Cardi B is a fucking... Um, a, a, what's the name? A, a Libra. Beyonce is a Virgo with a what moon? Um, with a Scorpio moon. So this is this 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 there's this channeling of this masculine energy coming out in a feminine form. So these women are considered goddess. You know what I'm saying? And 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 it's gonna your light is gonna be so bright. It's gonna it is gonna dim other people's light. But that don't mean you stop. And that's I don't I don't like that. See okay, that and that's stop, a stop stop stop. You gotta understand this. And this is where you're being ruled by others. This is how people keep you down. If a motherfucker can't, if a motherfucker can't shine in your presence, oh the fuck well, oh the fuck well. It, yo, let me tell you something. I had to learn this in life, yo. Listen, I had to learn this in life. You don't dim your light for fucking nobody. Do it all the time. And 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 some lady said this. I forgot her name. Ivana, whatever her name is. She said, "Bitch, you better put some sunlight, sun sunglasses on." If you can't stand my radiation, you better put... Does the sun care about your ass going outside? The sun don't give a fuck. The sun is... It's just it's just being the sun. What do you do? <laughs> right. You know? <laughs> hey, yo. So what do you do? What you do is you try to dim your light so that other people can shine. Nah, my nigga. What that does is deplete you of your power. And these people start using your power... To shine. Motherfuckers start using your fucking power to shine. And then guess what they do in the end? Motherfuckers use your power and turn against you. You see what they do to me? Motherfuckers, you see a motherfucker take my power and use that bitch against me. It be my power. What the fuck? So what you got to realize in life is that you're powerful and stop being ashamed of your power and isolate yourself away from people. The people that's supposed to be around you, they going to utilize you for a power source. Like, I'm a power source. I'm not going to lie. I'm a power source. But I, I choose to give my power to what empowers me. So the people around me work for me. They're working for my agenda. You understand what I'm saying? It, you have to learn how to do that because you're a power source by yourself. When you when you allow people to suck your energy, they got to they gotta be making, you got to make sure that that energy is coming back to you. It's just like money. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, just like the bank. The bank will let you get some of their power, but they're going to charge you interest to make sure that that power is coming back to them. 
You see what I'm saying? So that's how life works. So you have to make sure that you take care of yourself. First of all, stop not shining because people can't take your light. Fuck them. They better get some sunscreen. They better find some goddamn shade. You better get it under a tree or something. But bitch, I'm shining. I can't hear you because your mic is... You got Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Yeah. Um, I was just saying I needed yeah. to hear that. You know, I really did. Because I, I have a tendency to do that. It's with you. It's, it's with you. You, there are people in your life that are your subconscious that make you feel bad for being. You see people all the time, trying all the time, trying to, trying to humble me. Don't you see? That's who all of my trolls are. People that really want me to be humble. They're trying to humble me. Yeah. Why? Why are they trying to humble me? Because they see my power and are fucking immediately jealous of it. So there are people that's gonna see your power and feel your power and immediately like, oh. You're rude. And da, da, da. Yes, I'm fucking rude. Somebody has to be rude, bitch. That's how it is. And that's it. That's like me stepping out into the sun like, God damn, it's hot as shit out there. Um, does the sun, is, you think the sun is going to be like, well, let me turn the temperature down. So right. Come <laughs> no, nigga. Right. What do you do? You're going to have to adapt to the sun. Yeah. So yeah. your nature, people are going that deal with you are going to have to either adapt to you or have a lot of fucking melanin. You understand yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, nigga, I ain't for everybody. Yeah. And it's just like that. It's just like that. And so right here, it says right here, this aspect that you have, this sun trying Saturn, it says sometimes you have a sudden realization of your own power. And 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 because you're not, it says that you have these sudden spurts, these sudden realizations of your own power. And you become, and you get bossy. It said, it's, it said, you just get bossy. Right? It becomes, you become quite bossy. But I don't realize that I'm being bossy because it, but pump pump, sit down, baby. You gotta sit down and eat this. You make the muffler dirty. Sit down. Oh, you get standing on my computer. Y'all got to go. Okay. Got to go. So, what happens here is because you starve yourself of your own authority, by the time it just comes naturally out of you, you overdo it. That's it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Because you you know, it's just like somebody that hasn't ate, eaten for a long time, or a person that's been broke their whole life, or black people in general that never had freedom or human rights. When they start getting human rights, they overdo it. Mm-hmm. They start doing crazy shit with money, not really caring about their freedom. They get lost in the system. You see what I'm saying? Because we've never had human rights. Now that we're getting some human rights and we become house niggas or being treated a little bit equal, we take it and we're to an extreme. You see, yeah. we can't just get a European car. Nah, we got to ice that motherfucker out. We got to goddamn not just get a European car. White people don't let us get their car. Now we got a car. Shit, this is what we going to do with that bitch, right? We're going to put rims on it. We're going to get it customs, trap yeah. top, whatever, because we take it to the extreme. So with you and your power, it's the same way. When you starve somebody, when you starve yourself of your own authority and feeling your own power, when you have the natural spurts that come out, where you just like, you get upset to a certain point, or just some moment, some sudden moment, you feel your power, like, oh, the fuck going? Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, yeah. 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 And it can come across that way. That's so true, okay? Because, um, like just previously in previous experiences, like I'm, I'm generally trying to. I'm always I always come with good intentions. So let's say, um, I don't even know what situation to say. Let's just say, like my friend girl, for example, she actually just called me the other day, and she asked, she asked, I'm not able to do it. I got four wisdom teeth taken out yesterday, but. When she asked me, initially I was like, yeah, like, you know, bring him over. He's going to come over Monday through uh, Friday through Monday. I live in a studio, so it would have been no privacy. You know, and I'm only say, using this example to say that initially I told her yes. Hey, and then it took, it, it, I had to really check myself. And I was like, you know what? I really wish you had to told me this sooner. I just got four teeth removed. And to be honest with you, I just want to rest. Like, I don't even feel good. But it took me like a minute to even get to that point. You know what I'm saying? Because she called on me and I wanted to be able to be the person to help her, you know? But um, I always initially like want to say, yeah, like I don't be thinking about like stuff I got going on and all of that. So I'm, I'm thankful for that. Okay. Because you care what people think of you. 
and, and, and you watch me and you realize I don't. And you like that about me. You like, yo, this nigga, he you, crazy. You care about but certain. You gotta be more like that, huh? I say you care about certain things. But you don't, most things no, I really we don't, don't, really don't. I really don't care about what people think like about me. I really, yeah, I, okay. no, I really don't really care unless I'm, you know, I, I honestly, I don't give a fuck. I'm being real with you. I don't give a like, fuck. I think one thing I learned from you, for sure, for sure, though, is like, before me and you like met, I was super like passive aggressive. So, you know, that just it's exactly what you're saying, you know, but people would do stuff and I just like I don't wanna cause I know that I got a mouth. So if I say and that and you can probably even think about that when I was in Texas too. Like it's not because I'm I'm generally kinda like quiet when it comes to um like you said, being authoritative. When I do open my mouth, it's kind of like, what? And who is you? Like, where did that person come from? You know, because it's like, right, right. I've been showing a softer, sweeter side. You know what I mean? All up until that point. So, yeah. um, I'd like to add that I do have a video. Um, I'm going. I'm going to post it. And it's um, from an astrologer. She has 23 years of astrology. And um, she basically says that Nature Boy um, abuses astrology and, you know, twists and turns it to, and um, manipulates it for his agenda. And I do notice, too, when he's reading, like, when he reads Pretty Ladies, um, like, if he's reading someone and, um, and she's attractive, and he'll he'll say, "Oh, you have a carbonation um, horoscope, and um, you know reading, and you should be here." And so he he like he twists it to his agenda. So I'm gonna post that, you know, just so you know, um, you're not just taking my word for it. It's coming from you know other people. Okay, and back, and I haven't, um, some of it I have fast forwarded, but I just noticed a lot of the things, you know, he's just talking about himself, basically, I just noticed he's, he's talking a lot about himself, because I think he thinks, he says this girl has a, the same, um, astrological reading as his or the same um, um, what is that they have basically the same sun and moon and different they have the same astrological signs and everything so um, okay Get back. No, I, I, I used to be like that when I was when I was young in my power as well when I when I did you know what I mean? When I say young in my power, I mean young in age, just young in, de in developing who you are. I used to be ruled by other, what other people think, and then I just had an out, I just had an outbreak, like boom, I was like, fuck up everybody, like fuck everybody, just doing what I want to do. And it was like a sense of freedom. It was scary, and it, and it and it was lonely at first. But then, if you just get past that threshold, then what you do is you create like a whole solar system around you, like the people that you do attract to you. Yeah. It's gonna be all kind of shit that come in your life, but that's my aspects. But I really want to—I really want to show you how it says right here that you have spurts of these things because you suppress your energy. You have mm -hmm. spurts of these things that these outbreaks of power and authority, where you learn how you need to learn how to live in your authority mm. and stop being afraid. Of, and it goes back to that. So this conjunction greatly increases the of the sign in the house. <laughs> I'm all fucking, yeah, man. But you over there like, who people think you shit? I'm over here caring. Yeah, yeah because it's, it, I don't got that aspect. I don't got that sun um, square, um, no, moon square ascendant. Okay. You see what I'm saying? That moon square ascendant mm -hmm. make you give a fuck about people here. I don't care. That one ascendant is what's stopping you in your whole life, yo. Like, that shit is affecting your whole Shit, yo. That moon square ascendant is fucking with your whole life. That shit is important as fuck. 
Yeah. All right, so your, so your moon is in Leo, like your boy. Like your boy. So, like, like your boy. So moon in Leo requires, requires, is required to be put on a foot stool. Like we have, like, you can't be normal. Like everything, you feel everything and your self-expression about everything, 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 depending on where your Mercury is at now. But with Moon and Leo, we feel all the emotions. We Leo is about self-expression. So this is about expressing your emotions. This is about outwardly expressing your emotions. You understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And we need the spotlight. We love the spotlight. We like the, we love the attention. We have to be put on a footstool. We have to be put, yeah. If we're not put on a footstool, we don't feel love. But the beautiful thing about that is that the universe blesses us with all kind of attributes that allows us to be put where we're supposed to be. We're not. I, you know, I'm just looking at her, and it's like she's giving him. She's looking into the phone, like, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, she looks lost. <laughs> it's like I don't know if he's if she's re if he's reading her horoscope or he's reading his horoscope because she looks lost. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, I don't think he's reading her. her yeah, I think he's just connecting too much with himself as far as, you know, her horoscope. He's making it about himself. If I'm wrong, let me know, okay? <laughs> the universe is not going to make you a Leo moon and not give you attributes to put you on in a place of power. You know what I'm saying? So when you're a Leo moon, you're required, but you have to find your gifts. Because that's when you're going to get all the attention you need throughout your gifts and your purpose. When you come in your purpose, you get all that you need. You're going to get all that you need. So with Moon in the ninth house, this makes us not be able to be regular. Like, we are the gurus. The Moon in the ninth house, I showed you this before. The Moon in the ninth house are the people that are dreamers, the thinkers. We're the ones that are the guru. We are thinking about foreign lands and learning spirituality. This is a spirituality, philosophical thing. We're big on morals and principles. Like, we want to do what's right. Like, when your moon is in the ninth house, it makes you compelled to be big on morals and principles. You understand what I'm saying? So, it's the principle of the thing that hurts your feelings. Like, we're emotionally tied to morals and principles. You understand what I'm saying? But right. You get That's, true. Aspect, That's true. That's the principle. Like, you are an honorable person. You have to be because it's. But well, we're gonna look into these aspects now, because we've already seen that you got that. You only got one bad aspect. Everything else is trying. Your moon is trying, and everything else. This is good. Your, your moon is squaring ascendant, and we already read that. That's when you care too much about what people think about you, and you can be easily yeah. influenced by the crowd or your family or whoever it is that you care about to think about you. But when moon, you got moon trying something, we already read that. I think. Yeah, she got the moon trying sun, which helps her. We read moon. Oh, she got sun trying. Yo, you got sun trying Saturn and moon trying Saturn. Ooh. Wow. That's a dope. That's some dope. That's some dope shit. So your, your, when your moon is trying to Saturn, the harmonious, this harmonious aspect gives people emotional stability. In their home environment, they often do things in a way um, they think is right. They are reliable, stable, and helpful. <laughs> Bless myself. However, sometimes they may be petty. Sometimes I may be petty? No, it means peated. I don't know what that means. Peated? Okay. There's no life. And they do not like to be yield. They do not like to yield to the will of others, right? They feel separated from society, right? They often experience stormy emotions and mood swings. But peep game, yeah. I got more for you. I got more. Oh, for you. you got mood swings now. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you know me. But you know what? I do that shit on purpose. I be doing that. People be thinking I'm out of control, but now nah, I do that shit on purpose. Because 
You have to rebuke your demons, my nigga. You have to rebuke your demons. This is my demon. This is my world. Like, right? nigga, you ain't gonna come up here and disrespect me. I got to let y'all, you know what I mean? And I like screaming at people. Like, I like that shit. That shit powers me up. Well, look, right? But I do have moves for you. Let me try you. This is funny to me because this is the opposite of your moon um, square ascendant. Pick this. A moon trying your rain. This gives you the power, but you haven't came into it yet. I can't. Give me the power. But check this out. Huh? I said, give me the power. I'm just tripping. Don't mind me. Right. I'm, I'm like about to tell you about yourself so you know you have it in you to do it. Okay. With your moon trying your rain, this nigga, this is like your sword. The nigga, and 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 the and the and the battlefield of the, of life. This is like shit. This is what you pull out. Your moon, your moon trying Uranus, right? It makes you comfortable with who you are, no matter how different you are from others. This is the aspect that I have that makes me like not give a fuck about what other people think about. Me. So you do have an aspect in you that don't give a fuck about what other people think about. You. <laughs> I kind of care though, so I say stuff like. Don't mind me, or I'm weird, you know. So I use like disclaimers to be me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Nah, don't don't do that shit. It says you are friendly I'm and curious. You are a friendly and curious person who is different female. And on top of that, Babylon gonna be destroyed, and we're gonna be populating the earth. The kingdom of God is going to be populating the earth with real humans again, because this is the cycle of consciousness. So what I've come here to do is. Bring the kingdom of God to earth. And so the king, all the gods and goddesses are coming, are being extracted and elected. And elected the elite, they're being like, you know, the rapture is happening right, right now with people are being pulled. You know what I'm saying? And pulled, their soul is being pulled and to, to the duty, the call of duty of why you're here. So a lot of human beings are going to get wiped out. That's okay. Energy is not destroyed. It's not destroyed. It's only transformed. But a lot of souls are going to get wiped out and we are going to repopulate the earth with the righteous mind and just end the cycle and coming into the golden age. Like the golden age is coming and it's going to be peace on earth. There's going to be peace and the meek shall inherit the earth. But at the end of the day, that's where we're at right now. So me understanding my mission and having this, you know, I can't be in no damn monogamous relationship because number one, you know what I'm saying? My purpose is coming into the moon trying Uranus. And when I realized this, I was like, wow, that's crazy. And so for me and you, we argued because you was talking to a nigga in your email. And I was like, you know me, I ain't having that. I right? know it's not at that moment. <laughs> moment, you weren't having it. <laughs> he was like, this is my friend. I'm like, what? All, everybody was looking at you like, Oh hell! They all know. I don't know. <laughs> you, they, you was like my friend. This is my friend. My brother. I was like, don't be stupid. I thought. And then brother. you was asking him about polygamy. Yeah, it was about and polygamy. I was like, yeah. As if, as if this nigga could fucking tell you something, I couldn't tell you. I was like, whatever. But he agreed with you. But okay. I know he agreed with me, but like as, as, as if I was telling you nothing that wasn't facts. I know, but you said, remember, you just right, so look, right. said, much, I need to, you know, make right. sure that people... Oh, right, well, this is where we had bumped heads. It says, your, yeah. your, domestic, your domestic conditions are pe pe um, peculiar in some way. Your upbringing may be, uh, may have been unusual or you have eccentric parents. It would have been best for you to have learned by experience. I mean, like, about random people, you know, like... I am, you know, and even to the point where, you know, shoot, I don't this makes you a revolutionary. This aspect makes you a revolutionary. This makes you like a rebel. Like you're outspoken in front of the public eye and you're like fucking really? crazy and rambunctious. So you're trying to say I'm not that? <laughs> That's what you're trying to say right nah. now. Nah, like we, it, it, it's like, we don't give a fuck about the conformance of the status quo. I think that you haven't came into this aspect. No, I'm coming into it. Because there are certain things that um, I think I'm learning about myself. 
you know, and uh, so. Yeah, a lot of it things. Says, it says right here: the more outlandish the subject behaves, the more the public laps it up. Now you got, you got to know that's real, because it's like it says: the more outlandish the subject behaves, the more the public seems to lap it up. <laughs> and you know, I'll be chilling. You know? <laughs> I'll be chilling. I don't be saying nothing. Mind my business. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll be wilding. Them niggas love it. They love it. They yeah. laugh it all the time. So you have that aspect, right? This is my aspect. I'm reading it. I'm telling you. This is me. You cannot say this. Not <laughs> yeah, you have to came into this energy because of your, because of the moon, um, square, uh, ascendant. Okay. Moon square ascendant. Okay. That moon square to- ascendant is blocking. Remember, this is a, this is another moon aspect. So you have this aspect as a moon. So this is available for you when you're ready to come into it. But it's it's available for you, but you're not tapping into it. So because you're not in your journey, you haven't came over. You haven't overcome the moon square ascended. Okay. I'm coming though. Okay. Don't so back to. You can't. I, I know that. I know that. I know that I, I inspire you now. Now I know that I inspire you because you have. I would have never went over there if I didn't feel that way. Uh-huh. In some way. I said I would have never came so, over there if I didn't feel, you know, that way. Come on now. No. I would never make that move. Well, when did you start back following me? Um, I don't think I ever really stopped following you. We were still talking. You have to. You have to be. From what I'm reading, you have to admire me. You admire me. Like, I just I, I'm the homie. Like, nah, nah, because because you got a lot of same charts, but you're not living in it. You know what I mean? Like you're not living in it. If you understand what I'm saying, to you. I think I should. Um, like I told you, I expected that people hear that this thing is not to um just regular. She got a good looking one. Uh huh. I need her. Oh. Try move. Alright. Well. We really getting to know her, huh? Yeah. <laughs> she actually had a good ass shirt. Yeah. She was here? Yeah. She was right here. Oh. She's the reason why I went to Eliana. It was after her that I fucking, remember I told you, like, after her, I was just like, fuck, and I, like, settled, I settled, because I was supposed to be with her, I thought we was going to be in love and shit, because she had my chart, and me and her were together, and, um, she had this crazy-ass ex-boyfriend that sent the cops, and, and then she, I think she had a problem with polygamy or some shit, you wish I would do your chart? If y'all donated to Carbonation more, I would do it. I would do y'all charts. I would do charts all fucking day, but I want, um, you know who I'm gonna let do charts? I'm gonna let, uh, Joy's about to start doing charts. We have a lecture today, so we're doing a lecture. Tron's doing a lecture today. Tron! No, not Pocahontas. She was after Pocahontas. It was Pocahontas and it was sunny. And make sure you got your lecture ready today. That's the fact. Huh? Yeah, that's Sunny. Yeah, me and Sunny were supposed to be like, we're supposed to be, yeah. No, you have to donate for real, for real, for me to do your damn chart. To do it like this, like I'm doing it like now, yeah, you have to be donating. I got a couple people that do, yeah, no, no, not just set. This, this is Sunny, the one I'm talking to. The one I'm talking to, we was like in love with each other for like a hot second. And then after her, I just went into a dark place and I just said, I just settled with being with none. But I just wanted my woman. I thought she was going to be my woman. I thought, I, I, I could have sworn that it was going to be her. That was going to be my woman. And why you send a request and then, and then take the request away? You love her, you went to you went to high school with who? You went 
so high school. Yeah, her energy is super dope. Oh, you know Chene? You know her? Oh, wow, we're all coming together. Look at that. Y'all donate $100 and, uh, to Carbon Nation, and I'll do your truck. She left on Pharaoh. Yeah. I, was, I was heartbroken when she went in that barrel show. Hey, Santana. Sorry, you don't like the comments, but that's my friend. High school with no, I'm not saying I don't like the comments. I'm saying I was telling them about us and how, like, you're the reason. You're the reason why I had went to Nana. And that's the reason you went to her. But huh? I was there when it happened. Right. Hey, Santana. How is there gonna happen? Y'all had a strong with one another. Wait, I didn't. I didn't hear you. You're breaking up. Very strong. Wait, you're breaking up really bad. You're you're breaking up really bad. She didn't look familiar because she never was on camera. Mm -hmm. You never seen her. She never was on the camera over here. You're connected. No, nah, this is not the study. It's a different study. It's the first study. Oh, no. Nah. No, no. It's, it's complex, man. It's complex, but it's simple. And then people don't understand. As long as I understand this all or not, I can't display it to people. She looked familiar from Young Farrell interview. Yeah. Yeah, she was on a Young Farrell interview type shit. You know? <clears throat> Watch out the tub. You got a tub? Oh, 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 oh. That is so funny. I'm looking in the comments. I'm seeing Kendra from college. I'm seeing Santana from high school. What's good? <laughs> kind of cool. Yep. Everybody follow me, man. I see. All the women, all the, all the beautiful women, they follow me. Yeah, and they're both beautiful. They're both cool. Yeah, they're all Santana. Pretty, all the real pretty women, they follow me. Well, somebody said you had bomb sex, so I don't know nothing about all of that, but no. Nah. <laughs> I don't know nothing about all of that. Oh. Negra. Negra trying to find out what's going on. Mm -hmm. Well, looking at him, you can tell he has bomb sex. <laughs> Who are you talking about? Oh, he's talking about me? Well, me and Sonny have some good sex. That was good. We have chemistry. Chemistry. We have, we have plenty of that. But um, see now you got me thinking about that shit. Um, um, node. You have a. What's that node? Yes, girl. I did have any girl. You might want to turn them off. <laughs> okay, I'm going to turn them off. I'm going to turn them off because they distract me. Okay, so you have a North Node Trine Moon. Which is good. They said these people have distinctive urge to step out on the path shown by the lunar moon, by the lunar node, which is basically the same thing. 
they intuitively and partially unconsciously perceive and avoid the possibilities associated with the house and the sign of the lunar node, which is that Leo moon. And their emotions are in harmony with their focus. So this is another trine that helps you focus your energies and your moods. Man, I ain't gonna lie. Man. I'm, I'm having, I'm having a lot of thoughts right now, and I'm like, I don't wanna. And it's because of you, and I maybe I don't having a lot of thoughts. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna just. I'm gonna just let it, let it, let it ride out. Oh, what's been jump move? Hello, baby. That's something. The moon is dropped. It's conjunct. Um, is that a debilitation? No, no, the conjunct is good. The conjunct is. Oh, it's good. Okay. Okay, here we go. Here we find our issues. Here we find our issues. This is what separates me from you and our charts. Okay, stop jumping, money, for you step on her hand. Your Mercury. Your Mercury. And Gemini. Your oh, Mercury. no, Pisces. <laughs> Pisces <laughs> Yeah. Now, the fourth house makes you want to look for a father figure in your name. You want Baba. You want, you want, that's what you look for the man. You want a father figure. Like, literally, that's what you look for. Like, your Yeah, you I do like older <laughs> type of men, like, you know, or that energy. Yeah, that's about, uh huh. So, with Mercury in a fourth house, this makes it kind of difficult for you to really rationally process thoughts. Now, this was a problem for ourselves, too, in our relationship. Because with your Mercury aspects, we got a Mercury square. We got a Mercury square. Saturn. It says, but you, but you do have a moon and sun that is trining Saturn. Right. But here's this. Here's this Mercury square Saturn. This as. This aspect gives people serious, conservative, and practical process. <laughs> How conservative? Many? You said serious conservative what? And practical mental processes. Oh, okay. <laughs> However, these people also have the ability to calculate clearly and calmly. And this ability <laughs> is often responsible for their success. So your mind is able to calculate things very, very good. So that's a good square. But but we have to be deep oh, into it. Okay. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. I didn't know any squares were good. Okay. All right. No. It was good. Ah, Keep on. it good. It was good. Let me put... Ah. Hold on, baby girl. Let me... Let's go deeper. Hold on. Because <laughs> you got... You got Mercury and, and Saturn squaring. Let's go. Okay. Okay, here's, that was a brief reading. Here's something more detailed, okay? Mercury square Saturn poses a big challenge to be overcome. The challenge is in the mind and with communication. As Saturn restricts and inhibits these, basic, these basics of life, so you will face constant tests for you, for your perfect, for you, perfect the... Uh, deficiencies you came into the world with. You will face constant tests that you came into the world with. Because there is no doubt that you will master these skills, though. As seen by the list of celebrities. Listen, let me just... Wow. Okay. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So it says that your mind, your mind can focus. Wow, she is really getting it in over there. It says your mind can, it says narrow mindedness and paying too much attention to minute details must be replaced by a larger view of the world. 
shyness can be overcome by stepping out of your secure little comfort zone and such as joining the debating team at school or speaking in public. So this is this is an aspect that is pushing you to stop looking so much into details because you 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 get lost in the details of things, right? And so how, like it seems like it goes right back to you thinking about how people think about you. It's saying that you have to purposely speak in public to come out and you have to like get on debating teams and basically do things to be outspoken. Step by step though, learning how to make friends and gaining confidence on a one-on-one -on -one basis is a good starting point. It says negative thinking can be often can often be ex exacerbated by having a having to deal with too much responsibility all at once or suffering through painful hardships separations and losses these things plus isolation loneliness and insecurity can often lead to depression which must be addressed via medical help counseling or other forms of support so you can get into negative thinking um do not suffer in silence is saying it's saying that you suffer in silence don't do i that. used to i decided to take therapy so just have somebody talk to <laughs> the more you talk and share your dark thoughts. It says the more you, you talk and share your thoughts, your dark thoughts, the lighter the load becomes. With natal oh, Mercury okay. square Saturn, you will tend to attract older males. Wow, we just said that. <laughs> Stop, says, girl. Saturn. It says with Mercury square Saturn, you will tend to attract older male mentors, whom you will learn to trust and value even though you may not always show respect initially. <laughs> ah, we got your number, motherfucker. <laughs> it says, do not blame others for your, for any rejection. Or do not blame, blame others for any rejection? Yeah, any rejection. <laughs> or their apparent confidence or ease compared to yours. <laughs> Until you master this aspect, you could be, it says you could be giving off an insecure, fearful energy picked up by others. Any resentment on your part makes your aura darker and can potentially lead to nastiness. Replace negative yeah. thoughts and words with positive ones by using mantras. Repeat yeah, I don't positive like that. by, it says repeat positive phrases about yourself before you go to sleep. So basically reprogram your subconscious mind. Okay. Ooh. That's a, that's that's some shit I seen. That's some shit I seen now. What you see? What the last S the last one? Yeah you was carrying resentment on you, yo, from your last relationship. Hell yeah I was. You was carrying a lot. You was carrying dark. I still, I still am kind of when it comes to um, like opening up. Like I'm, like I'm cool right now. You know what I'm saying? But don't try to talk to me because I'm not like the nicest person. And I still have things, and I'm like still getting through. Right. So, so I don't even really date because I'm not really ready for that yet. I mean, so yeah. So look, right. So you have to play those those up. Uh, I'm gonna send you some stuff too for your mind to reprogram your subconscious mind when you're sleeping you have to play stuff to reprogram it to get that aura off you because you got like you came to me with that aura remember remember that energy you had on you it was like yo like dude was still stalking you he was like a demon attached to you like he was attached to you brought the police and shit shit was crazy he called cps to the house that was it was crazy yeah he did a lot of shit and but i ain't gotta worry about that no more so Right. But <laughs> well, that's a good thing. Now, yeah. remember how you had, like, me and you shared that moon trying Uranus? Mm hmm. You have a Mercury square Uranus, which probably is the reason why you don't have that aspect playing out like mine. Like, outspoken, the outspoken aspect. Mm hmm. When your Mercury is squaring Uranus. Okay, so I'm going to read this from another thing. 
Okay. Right. So we got Mercury here. Did I say square? Yeah. Yeah. Mercury is squaring Uranus. Get up. Are you ready? Yeah. This is actually like some dope shit, but it, it's a challenge to it. Watch this. Okay. You ready for this? This is a dynamic. This is some shit right here. Listen. Because okay. your Mercury is in Pisces in the fourth house. Yeah. And I don't even know where your Uranus is at. Hold up. I'm about to pull up your Uranus. Where's that anus at? Oh, your Uranus is in Sagittarius like mine. Whoa, this girl is like, she got my whole fucking chart. That's crazy. She said, <laughs> Dang, I knew we had like the basic like Leo moon and ninth house and Venus and uh, rising. This girl crazy. She got my whole shit. I never even looked at your chart deeply. And I never knew how much we had in common. But the fucking crazy thing that I'm noticing about your chart is that you need me. You basically are supposed to be with you. Like, you need me. And I'm not just saying that to fluff my own feathers. I'm saying that you literally need me in your life. Like, and you, and I don't know if you know that, like, you need me in your life, like, to grow. Like, you actually. Because you're, you got, you're an earth sign, too. Like, you're supposed to, like, me and you supposed to, like, you're supposed to be in my life, my nigga. Like, you're supposed, like, if, if, if I was looking at this chart, and I'm not just saying this on no shit, I'm serious. Like, I got everything you need to grow in my chart. Like, my characteristics, everything that you need to overcome all of your debilitations is, that's, it's, it's funny to me how people be right the first time, and then they, because of their fears, they go, you know, left. Who was fearful in this situation, me or you? <laughs> it was you. Mm -hmm. Wait, it was you. Oh yeah, I'll, I'll let you go. You it can't wasn't argue. me. I'm... No, no, I'll let you go because you can't argue with me. Like me and you can't get into arguments. I ain't like that shit. Like you kept trying to like, you kept trying to like not listen to what I was trying to tell you. Yeah. Yeah. Type shit. You know I don't you think that's the reason that I left, but we can roll with that one today. Okay. I'll tell you why I left. If you want to know why I left. Why you left? Because there was some, um, like, unspoken energy. Just like how you read my chart and you was talking about how I'm intuitive. I was reading the energy between you and Nana, you know. Not to bring her up, you know. Um, but I'm like, what's going on? This, you know. So once I was feeling all awkward, I'm, I, couldn't, I couldn't just stay there if I didn't feel comfortable. You know, I felt like it was too much unspoken stuff going on. No. 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 Bye. Oh, no. That's not how it played out in my mind. But you know, we got two different programs. So that's just how it played out for me. But the funny thing is that you said to, you said in the van that day that Nana was saying that she didn't like me. She was saying that you were making her feel uncomfortable. Um, and she don't know why you would do that to another man's wife. That's what she was saying. But then when I told you, when I talked to Fury, though, she was saying, 
you know, that y'all both was telling her the same thing about each other, you know? So it was a lot of, it was a lot of, you know, and I'm just there. I just got there. So I'm just like, what the hell going on here? I got to go. Right. That's funny. She said that to you because you was my wife at the time. Right. So she she was trying to talk to you about what she was really feeling, but she couldn't do that because she was my wife. So that's why she said it to you like, which was like kind of true. But to theory, she was saying she was in love with me. And so that's what I was hearing. I I didn't hear that. I didn't hear until the van, right? Oh, right. And then when theory had come out or Serenity, which is Faith now, she had came out and said that shit like, yo, you know, blah, blah, blah. She said that she was in love with you. And I was like, man, that's crazy. And, and I could feel I that, that, like, there was something. But that didn't happen until you start fucking up with me. Because me and, me and her didn't have that energy until you start fucking up with me. Y'all had that energy in Ohio. Remember when you woke up and you looked around and she looked around? You remember that story? <laughs> Don't play with me. <laughs> Don't play with me. Funny thing is, Don't play. I was left for that same week. You're the crazy Yeah, ain't nobody got it. I was left for that same week. Wow, I didn't need, I forgot about that. Yo, me and Nana was getting so close, she was like, fit my she was like finishing my thoughts like me and her were having the same thoughts type shit like even Omac was like yo she just said that like we would be in two different places but we were saying that we was thinking the same thing at the same time over and over, and over. Huh? yeah and, and and I know I remember you saying that like y'all would be talking to you'd be talking to somebody in combination and say this and be like oh Nana or EJ just said that so yeah no and that's why I was like it's best for me to just that's why Pocahontas had left Pocahontas left because she felt that energy between me and her but I didn't feel that until Ohio but I had woke up you know what I'm saying I had woke up and, and, mm-hmm. and then she woke up at the same time and we was like we looked at each other and we laid back down because she was across the room we was all laying in the room together we had woke up on some early morning type shit and she woke up, and so it was an energy that was between us. But I had shut it off. I shut that shit off because I was like, that No, you didn't. Girl. Let me tell you why you didn't. Because you was like making comments about her butt. Remember, y'all remember that? I remember we were at, I don't remember what you store. Wasn't you wasn't there when I said that. You wasn't there. When you said what? When I was making comments. Something about, about her butt? How are you going to tell me I wasn't there? I'm telling you what you said. I do you remember? I always do that with everybody. I always do that with everybody. Like, I'll do that. I'll just do that. I'll just talk about what I see in my reality. I'll do that. Like, if you look nice and you're not my wife, I'll joke like that. That's just what I do. But, okay. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, she she was starting to look like a little. She was looking, like, start looking yeah. like a villain to me. She was starting to look a villain. Yeah. You know I, mean? I can tell. So it was starting to look, but it wasn't that serious, my nigga. It wasn't that serious. You feel me? And what sparked, what really, like, made me, look, this is what happened. I'm trying to tell you. I'm listening. It was when, when me and you fell out. That's when I went there. I wasn't going to go there. I felt something there. I wasn't going to go there until me and you fell out. When me and you fell out, I kind of went to that like a like 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 something to go to. You know what I'm saying? Like, you understand what I'm saying to you? Um, cause all of this happened that day in the van, like when we was coming back from Houston, right, or Dallas, wherever we was at. I don't know. But um, no, it was. Remember, it, remember that evening? Always arguing. Remember when you was always arguing, and I had snapped that night, and I was like, all I want is my fucking queen. Remember that? I wasn't there when that happened. I think I left already. No, you was there. You was there. Oh. You was there that night when me and you got into an argument, and I had, like, broken down. Like, all I wanted was my queen. What the fuck? Remember that? Uh-huh. I remember you. I don't remember that. Hey. 
I have to make you my But that's not the conversation that we had before I got there. So if we had had that conversation, then that would have been different. (laughs) Then I could have been like, "Uh." You have have to understand, like, you have to understand the universe is growing and becoming and being. So I have become more of who I am now and understand how to explain who I am more now than before. When you met me, there was a lot of hints and stuff, you know, me just figuring out my own damn self. Whereas now I know exactly what the fuck I'm doing. I'm fishing, I know everything. It's all completely downloaded. Right? So I get it. Whereas before it was like, wow. Well, so this is what it was said, and I, and, I, and I need to ask you about this, right? Okay? She bugging me. Look, <laughs> <laughs> something was said that I need you to clarify for me. And that right. my film. Okay. I'm a true seeker. Eliana has stated that I manipulated her and Omac to be for her to be with me. Do you think that's true? I'm gonna take it. Wait, go ahead now. Either way, we have a big acting. I'm gonna answer according to my experience of beating you all. Wait, you're breaking up really bad. Come on. How about now? Um, I don't think that you manipulated their relationship. No, I don't. Um, I think that Eliana wanted to be with you. Um, I think that she was a little like from the from 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 being in a car, just keep it a hundred, like. I felt like you don't have to be that loud. She didn't do it on purpose. I watched her. Um, from be, like the being in that car, being in the car, like and everything coming out. Um, I'm just taking myself back there. Just give me a second. Um, like in the beginning of the conversation, it started off saying that she looked at you like a father figure. And in fact, I do kind of think that. I do believe that she looked at you as a father figure, and I do believe that's a fact. Um, but I will say that she did, like she told you that she probably didn't think that she could be in that position. I want to say could be in that position, right? Um, and I'm saying that because she came in there, you know what I'm saying, with Omek, you know, and then I think she probably also, like you said, got to experience and see how you dealt with a lot of different women, you know, good, bad, and different. And can you hear me still? Girls, go ahead. Okay, it froze, but you, uh, okay, you're not frozen. Hold on, let me go. Imani, Imani, go to your room, Desire, Pumpkin, go ahead. You're not playing nothing if I said go to your room. Um, I think that each I'm gonna just keep it funky. I feel bad. I don't like talking about people. Um, I really do think that she was intimidated to like get with you, like on the level that she was with you for various reasons. One, she was around a lot of women, you know, defending them as they when they were your wives, i.e., Pocahontas and that sort of thing. So, um, as a woman. That's gonna kind of, I mean, it's hard to be cool with one woman and then next thing you know, you're sleeping with her, the guy that she was with, you know what I mean? Or her baby daddy. I think that one of the things that intrigued EJ, it's my personal opinion, um, about becoming your wife was the fact that she knew that a lot of following would come with that. Day. Because I was kind of. I didn't really know, like, how all of y'all stuff was going on in Carbonation. You know, I'm only watching online like everybody else. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, I'm getting, I think I'm getting, 
her mixed up with Pocahontas. Um, I said earlier, maybe an hour into the to the live, um, that Sunny had left um, Nature Boy for this guy named Pharaoh. But yeah, I'm sorry. I'm getting uh, I got them mixed up. Okay, bye bye. Oh, I just remember like one day when we were in the kitchen or somewhere, I don't know where the hell we were, but she was talking about six. Yeah, I noticed I said bye bye. I'm not used to uh, talking on <laughs> on these videos, so please forgive me. And um, I'm definitely I'm going to get better with practice. <laughs> how Fury had more followers than her because Fury was your wife before, you know? It's like, well, no, Fury got more followers than me because Fury was his wife. His wife always gets more followers, you know? And to me, that was a red flag because who the hell in here talking about some goddamn followers? That was the first thing. Um, but I don't know if it was like, I um, think it's a more application for you and what you're doing more than it is like, your personality. Um, and people because it's about like the way Omek is, like Omek is, you know, a little, you know, um, easier to approach, I'll say, um, when it comes to like conflict and that sort of thing, which just in general is something that would, like, as a woman, you know, as anybody, like, if I, if I, it's easier to approach you, then I'm, you know, generally going to want to go with somebody that's easier to approach. However, there are so many benefits that come with talking to you, i.e. followers and that sort of thing, because that is important to a lot of people. You know, it is what it is. Um, there's a lot that I could say. Um, I always thought that EJ liked you, though. Um, there was a video that I watched before I got there. Me and you were on the phone. You probably don't remember this. I don't forget certain things. And we were talking about women being warriors. I don't know if you remember that conversation. And I was saying how I'm a warrior, you know, and how women were warriors by giving birth and all that. And then me and you got off the phone. And then stop pulling her arms like that. Me and you got off the phone. And then y'all went into the park. Y'all were still in Texas, I believe. And EJ and Fury did a live about how women are not warriors and how we need to know what our roles are. And in that particular video, girls, what did I just tell you to do, Mommy? I'm going to pop you. Because I keep repeating myself to you. You the big girl. Go ahead. Um, so y'all were in the park somewhere, and she was saying how women are not warriors. And we need to know our roles. I remember this because it was literally based off the conversation that me and you had had. We literally just got the phone. You was like, I'm about to call you right back. Um, it's about to be a download. Da, 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 da. We were just talking about words on the phone. I remember, um, um, what's Fairy boyfriend name? He was, who was he back then? I can't remember. Rambo. I remember him like in the background. I could hear all this right now. And as she explained that women are not warriors, she said that she wants to have her she was about to say master teacher. That's on my life. Because I said it, I was like, she was about to say master teacher, but she changed it and said my masculine energy. And to me, you know, I'm paying attention to everything because like you said, I pay attention to details. You know what I'm saying? And I was trying to get a feel for all of y'all before I came all the way over there, you know? So I think everything happens for a reason. Y'all had a beautiful daughter together. She's gorgeous. Um, I think EJ learned a lot from her actions, you know, and her choices. And the same for myself. And I think the same for you. Shit, and the same, everybody who was affected in the situation. Um, but no, I don't believe that you manipulated um, their relationship. I do believe that you already been attracted to her. So, of course, if you are... Shh. I'm pulling your arm. Um, <laughs> um, I can't remember what I said last. It don't matter. I'm embarrassed by the whole thing, to be honest with you. I'm very embarrassed. That's how I feel about the whole circumstance. I'm embarrassed. And I was That's embarrassed too. <laughs> huh? I said I was embarrassed too. 
you know? And I think that so was... I'm just embarrassed by the whole thing because looking back at myself, it was what it was. It was what it was. It is what it is. Feel me? It happened. I learned, you know what I'm saying? It just, it just is what it is. I just see where... I see my mistakes. You know what I'm saying? I see it. I'm saying it just is what it is. And that's all that matters. It's like, hold on. Come on, let's get the ass with. Come on, let's get the ass with. That's all that matters, though. Hold on. Let's see how I want. Hold on. You done? Okay, let me Yeah, but as long as you learn, lesson learned, and same for me, same for her, same for him. We all make, you know, decisions. All right, so look, right, you got this Mercury square Uranus, right? And it says that Mercury square Uranus sets, sets you apart from the pack because of your different way of thinking and communicating. While you may well have a brilliant mind, you're sometimes provocative ideas in a centric manner can upset others and lead to a relationship difficulties. It says, I will deal with the drawbacks of this aspect first, which, which mainly revolve around how you communicate. Trouble listening can occur due to the lack of concentration or being easily distracted. That's a fact. That's a fact. Yeah, I used to be talking to you. And you was not listening, my nigga. That's, oh, my God, bro. That shit was crazy to me. You was not listening, man. I'm listening now. <laughs> this border, man, okay. Did you hear me? Yes, I'm listening. That's crazy. It says that you have trouble listening to the lack for the lack of communication. I used to say stuff to you, and then like you couldn't, you wasn't listening to me. You see what I'm saying? Wait, you breaking up? You wasn't listening to me. No, I'm always listening. That's not true. I would say stuff. Like, like I, I broke down polygamy for you, right? And you still went, I broke down, I broke this shit down to it, to the point where you were like, I get it. And you still went to the homie, asked him about it. I kept breaking polygamy down to you. Like, my nigga, like, I was like, yo. But you just couldn't. But you can break something down a million times to somebody. And it wasn't that I couldn't receive it. It's something that I had to make sense within me, not that I couldn't receive it. You know, if I didn't think that polygamy made sense, my ass would have never been there. You know, um, so that's why I was there. But it was just a matter of trying to make it fit for me and, you know, what I've been used to my whole life, the program that I've been on my whole entire life and making that joint, making that work within that. But you could have made it easier. You could have made it easier. I'm going to tell you the truth about it. You could have made it easier on the sister, for real. Crazy space. In a crazy <laughs> space. Nah, we was in a crazy space. Like, we wasn't even in a settled space. Like, we was traveling. Yeah. It was traveling. We wasn't even settled. You know what I'm saying? We had just went through what we went through in Costa Rica. That shit was crazy. Okay, listen. It says, this can lead to you saying the wrong thing to respond to others as you did not follow, understand, fully understand what they said at first. Oh, that's nice. Can I have my other one back now? Why? Because you put it on? No, I don't mean nothing. And where you get that one from? 
Why y'all farting and pooping? Okay, um, we don't have to talk about that. He's talking about your aspect. Yeah. Which is your Mercury square Uranus. Uh huh. Your Mercury is trying to send it though, which is good. This gives you vitality and curiosity. Vitality and curiosity. That's my Mercury. Trying to send it. Okay. Your Venus and Pisces in a fourth house like mine. Yep. You got about two aspects here. Oh, I got two aspects here. Yeah. Unlike me, your Venus is trying Pluto. <laughs> Mine's a square. You said what's trying Pluto? Mine's a your Venus is trying Pluto. Ah. Which means it says this harmonious aspect gives people the ability to experience relationships very deeply. How really? much of these people? Yeah. yeah, it gives you the ability. It says the ability. Oh, it don't mean I'm doing it, huh? All right. However, okay. these people require the same from their partner. And this may give rise to problems and conflicts, especially if these requirements are not met by the partner. Well, hear that, though. No, say that one more time. Sorry. The last part. Go. Uh, I'm listening. Mommy was saying something. The last part. I promise I'm listening, though. Just the last part. Okay. It says, however, these people require the same from their partner and this may give rise to problems and conflict especially if the requirements are not met by the partner that's true very very true uh, the whole expectations and then if the expectations aren't met i'm disappointed and then i'm out pretty much so hard this aspect says that it said that this aspect gives people talent for publicity and media. It, this aspect, aspect gives people what? Talents for publicity and media. I went to school for communications and broadcast journalism. That makes sense. Funny that you're not doing it, though. But in combination, well, you have to be in the public eye. Yeah. It says the, they often have many useful contacts that help them succeed. This aspect activates sexuality and sex appeal. That you do have. Yeah. Yeah. What about You sexy. Yeah, you sexy. You got a sexy person. <laughs> this aspect. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. This aspect. This aspect activates sexuality and sex appeal. In general, these people can experience their sexuality without unnecessary adornment and superstition. That's a good aspect. Okay, it right. says the positive. 
Navigate it. Mid hand flip. Okay, please just stay still. Wow. I need to stay still? Yes. Okay, I'm going to stay right here. What's the. Okay, so your mid haven is opposition of Venus. It's opposition of Venus, okay? What this means is the positive thing about this aspect is that these people are popular at work. The negative side of the aspect is they tend to be jealous and dissatisfied with their work environment. 